everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I got at Harrods when I went into London. You may have seen already my London vlog already up on my channel, so I hope you all enjoyed that. There'll be more vlogs coming soon. But I'm gonna show you what I got in Harrods, uh, makeup wise, and I'm going to do a first impression today. So first of all, as you can see, I definitely went to Harrods and I definitely bought some stuff. Now, it doesn't say what it is, it just says Colour Cosmetic, unfortunately, but it was £69. And I actually got to review and to try out because I haven't seen many reviews on it. I have, but they were quite a while ago um, and they were from people over in different countries. So I haven't really seen anybody in England try it before. Um, I may be wrong. Let me know down below if you've got any more, if there's any more videos, I would like to see them because I'd like to see what their reviews are as well. But it is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, this one here. And my colour is 14 Ivory Medium apparently. Um, the gentleman on the stand, he was very lovely, very, very good. I already had a makeup on, so he had to match it to my neck, which is what I would want anyway, because I'm quite fair. Um, and this is the colour he gave me. So he also, uh, no, I also got the Marc Jacobs Undercover Primer, which is the Coconut Primer, uh, Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And then as I spent £69, I got a small mini of the Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist he gave me, which is really good because that's quite a big sample really, to be honest, so bonus. So I'm going to use the coconut primer and also the foundation. The foundation, I'll use half of the brush and half of the sponge and see what I think. And yeah, I'll do the rest of my makeup, come back later on and show you and give you a review. So the bare skin, completely bare skin. And let's open this. So this is 30 Invisible apparently. Of course it's a primer. So I haven't opened these. Obviously I know what they look like. So this is what the coconut primer looks like. Just pulls off it feels really fancy packaging glass bottle so i need to be really careful because i'm so clumsy and it's just got a pump on it and i guess a couple of pumps on my hand oh it's really runny never used this before do you think that's enough maybe oh feels nice it's really cooling Super smooth. And a little bit more half a pump. It smells kind of yeah, coconutty. Just only a slightly, not like full on. Oh, it feels so good. Is it worth the money? We'll have to see how it lasts, I suppose. It feels really nice on the skin, it feels really hydrating. It feels like I'll just put moisturizer on. It leaves the skin in like like a the film over it which I kind of like it's kind of like a little bit sticky not much just a little bit to kind of sticky so that is the primer I can't see it obviously um, and so I guess let's just try the foundation so I have got damp sponge to try and a brush so what brush do we use is there anything on the foundation let's have a look so first of all on the primer it's read this read you what it says whilst that's kind of sinking in a bit more instantly impeccable skin smoothing makeup maximizer um primer doesn't say about how to put it on or anything so that's the end of that one let's see what it says on the foundation so like i said before i'm in the color 14 ivory medium which i'll show you in a minute and it's the remarkable full cover foundation concentrate um, that's all the ingredients. Instant results, all day weightless finish, beyond full coverage. Okay. Shake well. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, here we go. It's got a thing in it, so it's just good. So, this is what it looks like. Again, oh, it's really heavy. Um, it's got the colour underneath, but it's just a glass bottle. So it says, so it comes with like a little leaf there. Remarkable foundation. For best application, apply one pump of undercover perfecting coconut face primer. Oops, I did more than one, but evenly across face. Shake remarkable, 
Using dot applicator, place three to four dots on face. For best results, start with less and blend before adding more. Buff Remarkable with the Face 3 Buffing Foundation Brush, using circular motions to blend seamlessly. Um, but it doesn't show what that looks like, but I would guess a buffing blush, ugh, buffing blush? Buffing brush would just be something like a flat top face brush or something, or maybe a round one. Try one of these. I think I might try a round top. A round top face brush. Nice and clean. Washed it last night, so it says shake well. Now I've got, I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom you in a bit. I've got quite a lot of texture across here and down here, which is actually due to the steroids that I'm on. So I don't know if you saw my uh, video a little while back about minimal change. I'm still going through it, I've still got it. Um, or minimal change disease, nephrotic syndrome, whatever you want to call it. Um, it means I'm still having to take steroids daily. I take quite a lot, which is why I've got a really round face and a double chin going on, because I've put on quite a bit of weight, probably about a stone, and it's a lot of it is just steroid weight. There's nothing I can do about it, and hopefully when I'm finished, uh, it will be, it will all go back down again. So I'm still going to the gym, I'm still, you know, living a normal life, but it just means I put on So I've given it a good shake. Top comes off, it's just a cap. Ooh. And then it's just like a stick. So, so put three to four dots. I might just put a dot on each cheek and try that and then do the rest of my face. Do you think that's enough? Ooh, that was a good dot. Let's just start with that first. So let's start with this side. So my right side I'm going to use a sponge, my left side I'm going to use the brush. It does go a long way actually. Jesus. Wow. So I'm guessing to build it up, it's just depending on how much coverage you want. So that's actually only that small dot, it's only giving me a very light coverage. But the finish is rather nice and the colour matches well. So let me just try another dot up here. Move on on my chin. Oh no, that's way too much. Ah. Okay, we'll see if we can build it up then. <laughs> it seems to be going over my chin quite well. The test will definitely be my nose. Let's see if we can build this up because I put too much on. There's a real big test will be my forehead at the moment with all this texture. Well, the finish does look rather nice. What do you guys think? think it looks right. I think it looks right. Okay, let's do the other side. So the other side, like I said, I'm going to use a round top face brush and see if it gives it a different vibe. Different. See if it looks any different. because it's said to use like Marc Jacobs one, which I don't actually know what it looks like. I should probably, I'll insert a pic and you can have a look. Hopefully I'm using the right one. I haven't used a brush in so long because they were all dirty. <laughs> Such laziness. Well, it was quite a big dot. And as you can see, it's kind of left like a yellow mark. Let's we'll see if buffing it in will do anything. Yeah, when you buff it in, it looks alright. I've got a tiny bit on my forehead on this side. A lot of foundations, they crease really quickly across my forehead because I have got quite a big um, expression line. And you can see it is starting to already but it's definitely not as bad as some other foundations have been so that's good now it's all buffed in obviously i've got to concealer and everything so looking from sort of my left side to my right side now it's all buffed in can't really 
tell that much of a difference between the sides, so between how using a sponge or using a brush. Um, looks like it's creasing in my expression lines down here already on the brush on the um, sponge side. So it doesn't look like it is on this side. So that might just be the sponge, but it's not. It's not settled into the pores on my nose, which it does, um, foundations do do. And like I said, it is kind of settling on my forehead, but pretty much all foundations do that to me. So I've just got a really bad expression line on my forehead. I really need to stop making all the faces. Let me zoom you in a bit more. And you can so as you can see, it's still showing all of my freckles, but my skin looks quite flawless. And then when I set it a bit later, it'll probably look even better. So I'm liking how it's looking. So that's what it looks like so far. Yes, let's do concealer on camera actually because I'd like to see how it looks. So let's use, I'm going to use this one which is Fit Me by Maybelline in the colour 15. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyes. Um, I'm going to try and conceal up here a bit more. I've got all that texture, so I'm hoping the redness will go. And I'm going to use my sponge to tap it in and see how it works with the concealer. Well, it blends out really nice, that's for sure. Turns out really nice with this one, this concealer. Yeah, really like it actually. And this concealer is a bit hit or miss with me. It depends what foundation it goes with to whether I like it or not. So definitely a plus. So whilst we're here, we will set that as well. That's with the concealer. As you can see, it's blended out really nicely with the sponge. I wasn't going to try it with a brush because I generally don't use a brush to do concealer. Um, so let's just set that concealer with some HD finishing powder from NYX. Um, I'm just going to take a little brush from Makeup Revolution. Almost baking with it but not quite. I found that this powder just makes it under eyes feel so smooth. So it's what I would use anyway. That's the concealer set. And then I'm just going to use the kind of powder that I generally always use, which is the infallible 24 hour matte in 225 beige. Um, just with a big face brush. I'm not gonna use much. Just kind of dabbing it in once and dabbing all over my face. So that is the face set as well. As you can see now, apart from the texture here, I really like the way it looks. I think it looks really good. My skin looks quite glowy, but it doesn't feel tacky at all, which is great. Um, because I don't like it when you've got a foundation on and it feels really heavy and yeah, it just it's not pleasant. But this feels really light, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't because it doesn't feel sticky and I'm really happy. So I'm going to go off and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to give you final thoughts after I put everything else on. Hello everyone, I'm back. I have just finished the rest of my makeup and I thought I would check in and let you know how it all went on and how it went over the top of the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and Primer. But as you can see, it all went on really, really well. I am really happy with how everything went on top. And the foundation has now been on for approximately an hour, maybe? Yeah, about an hour. And it looks exactly the same. It hasn't changed, which is, it shouldn't after an hour, which is great. Um, I mean, for the price, let's hope not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really happy with it and I love it. It's definitely one that I would use 
for going out rather than just for day to day because it is so expensive um, I would use quite happily use other ones for day to day use so really happy with these so far it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel anything it just feels like my skin so I'm really really happy um, as you can see me seeing you in a bit the rest of my makeup went on really well no questions like really flawlessly to be honest with you um, you ha can see the expression line in my forehead but as I said before I get that all the time um, it doesn't matter what I use it still happens so I'm not really that bothered because I know it happens with everything I will check in in a couple of hours because I'm gonna go and film another video now as well um, and let you know what it looks like after that and I've also got to run a couple of errands so I've got to pop out and we'll see how it wears it's quite overcast today so if it rains let's see <laughs> if it you know melts off or if it gets hot then if it melts off whatever um, and I'll let you know in a couple of hours what it looks like so see you in a bit hi guys i'm back it is about half past five quarter to six in the evening um my foundation have bit has been on now for about about three three and a half hours so should be still really really good and absolutely fine but i thought i'd sort of come in and sh just give you an update so this is what it looks like zoom you in i've been out been outside been out like on an errands i've been wearing my sunglasses earlier on and i can't see any sort of sunglass marks or anything so that held up really well um and this is what it looks like doesn't look like it's faded anywhere even sort of down here where i'm like touching my face and down on my chin and anything doesn't look like it's faded at all which is great it's not settled in the moment to any fine lines sort of around my mouth um it has settled in i don't think it's let me just grab my mirror it has settled a little bit into these fine lines but i don't know whether that is the powder i used or or whether it is the foundation but it's not awful at the moment um i get it sometimes i get lines here because i'm getting old um it settles in there and also here and they haven't settled just yet they look like they could soon but worry about that later foundations have a real bad habit of sort of melting around my nose and it hasn't so that's a real big thumbs up because that really really annoys me you know your foundation looks absolutely flawless and then you've got sort of horrible melty bits around your nose <laughs> so I'm really happy with how it looks. Like I said, all of everything else went on really smoothly and I don't have any like qualms with it. I really like it. So, so far, so good. I'm really loving it. And thank you to the guy at Harrods who recommended it. Although I thought about getting it, um, he was like, yes, really lovely, great foundation. You only have to use a really tiny little amount, which is a bonus considering it's quite expensive. And so I was really hoping that it was gonna work. And so far, so good. One thing I didn't actually try, which I probably should have done, but it was just a freebie, was the Remarkable Mist. So what I might do is just put a bit on now. 24 hour set in perfection, glowing hydration. Oh, that's probably a bonus because I'm dry, like on my forehead. Wow. hold 10 to 12 inches away from face mist two to three times and let set do not inhale keep eyes closed press down completely for fine mist okay so that's what it looks like let's just try it a minute yeah definitely no it's not a mist yet there we go so that's what you said to do <gasps> Oh, it smells like holiday. You know that smell when you go away and it's just coconutty and beautiful and cocktails and what they call pina colada smell. Now I don't actually like pina coladas, but the smell I love because I love the smell of coconut. That's what this smells like. And it feels lovely. So I'm really excited about everything. Thank you 
to the guy at Mark Jacobs at Harrods for recommending all of it and making me spend all of the money because it was 100% worth it. So I am really happy so far. So I'll do probably another one in not that long, in about an hour's time, um, which is going to be after my dinner and I'll let you know what it's like when I'm touching up my, like touching my face and wiping my mouth and things. And then I will obviously do one before I take it all off tonight. So I will see you in a minute. Hello everyone, I'm back. Um, it is now 10 to 8 in the evening and I've eaten dinner and I've been watching a bit of telly, just kind of chilling out. And I thought I'd drop in and tell you how the Marc Jacobs Foundation is doing. Because um, it's been on now probably for about six hours or so. Let's have a look. So, okay, so it still looks really good. It doesn't look like hasn't really faded much even around like my mouth where I've been eating and obviously wiping my mouth and I haven't got any lipstick on now or anything might have faded just a little bit on my chin here but that's probably because I've been leaning on it when watching telly um, but it doesn't look like it's faded on my cheeks at all um, it hasn't settled into any of my pores it, my nose is starting to look a little bit shiny and it is only on one side starting to melt around my nose but a little bit of sort of touch up would be absolutely fine uh, a little bit maybe oily on no not really to be honest actually it's doing really good because um i have oily combination skin regularly with foundations i get quite oily through my t-zone and i haven't so it's looking really good still i'm really happy i'm so glad it works it could be my new favorite foundation which i'm so excited about because the one i was previously using my skin's kind of changed at the moment um it's very dry here so although I'm quite oily, I've got quite oily combination skin, I get quite dry, I've got quite a lot of dry patches up through here. Now it did latch onto that a little bit earlier on, but it seems to have kind of settled down now when I set it with the um, with the spray and now it's settled into my skin, it seems to have calmed down. So like I said, the only problem place is here. You can kind of see it on camera where it's kind of faded here. Um, but otherwise I'm really happy. So let me zoom in and show you up close and personal. So as you can see, it doesn't look like it's faded or anything. So, might have faded a little bit on the end of my nose, but it could be from me like wiping things. Hasn't settled in anymore into my fine lines up here. As you can see, if I do this, how much dry I've got across here. I've got like a rash kind of acne that have come up, that's come up um, due to steroids. So because I'm taking steroids every day, there's lots of side effects and that is one of them. So although you can kind of see some of the blemishes and things on my face and my, my freckles, I don't really mind that. I don't mind the fact that you can see like my skin coming through because um, my skin still looks really, really good and highlight looks good but yeah i'm really happy i will go away and i'm just going to watch a little bit more telly and i will come back in a couple of hours hey everyone i'm back it is late it's gone 10 o'clock now i think so it's now my bedtime i'm desperate to get all of this makeup off i just want it to come off now i want to take it all off you know that feeling at the end of the day we just want to scrub it to bed so i thought i'd give you my last update um not much has changed like i said i've just been watching telly but i've been kind of touching my face quite a bit um it hasn't faded any more here it hasn't faded any here really or that side really um so i'll look a bit close up it hasn't faded any more on my chin and i don't think it's melted anymore around my nose which is good because that was another couple of hours so it means with no touch-ups this looks pretty good it's start to look a little bit oily through here so with a bit of powder you'd probably be good to go for another couple of hours easily I'm really happy I really like this 
um, foundation. I'm really happy with my purchase. I'm so glad I bought it. And I would highly recommend it for anybody who's got skin like me. Like I said, at the moment I've got some dry patches here, so I've got real combination skins. Um, some dry, some oily. Over time it gets oily. There's no extra mountain around my nose or anything. Like I said, this faded a little bit earlier, but no more really. No more fading up here. Hasn't sunk into these anymore. So far has done pretty good. I hope you all really enjoyed this first impression. If you'd like to see more, then let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. Very happy with my purchase of Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and the primer and also the spray. This I didn't buy, but got a bit of a freebie, so I'd definitely repurchase that because I really felt good. Well, I'll see how it goes and see what it's like, but um, so far so good. Don't forget to subscribe to the little button below and leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps me, so hopefully leave a thumbs up for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.